close your eyes and focus on your breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. If you want, you can use a meditation word along with the breath. Boot in, toe out. Boot in, toe means awake. It's a quality we're trying to develop as we meditate here. And let the breath be comfortable. Notice what kind of breathing feels best for you right now. It could be in long and out long, or in short, out short, in short, out long, in long, or out short. Try to see what kind of breathing is best. Use your powers of evaluation to give the mind a good place to settle down in the present moment. This is a skill that we've been taught. It's been passed down since the time of the Buddha, and particularly with the John Lee, my teacher's teacher, who passed away 50 years ago, as of tomorrow. So we thought it would be a good day to stop and think about all the benefits that have come from the fact that he was alive and that he taught. He practiced the Dharma and taught the Dharma. And one of his special teachings was that the Buddha's teachings is a skill. It's not just a matter of things that you learn, or the meditation technique is not, not just one thing that you force the mind into a grinder and hope that awakening is going to come out on the other side. He kept making the point that as you meditate, you have to use your powers of observation and evaluation to see what's working, where the best place in the body is for you to focus, what kind of breathing is best for you. You don't just sit there with whatever comes up. You have to realize that you have a role in shaping your experience. And so you want to learn how to use your powers of evaluation and observation to shape it well. Because so much of this depends on just those powers of evaluation and being observant. Because without those, you might say, well, we can just try to memorize the Buddha's teachings and force them onto the mind. But that doesn't work. That doesn't create any real discernment. The discernment comes from being observant, from being sensitive. And this is one of the things you want to be sensitive right now. The big problem in life is that we all want happiness, and yet we cause ourselves suffering. In the process of causing ourselves suffering, we cause suffering to other people as well. And why do we do that? Well, it's out of our ignorance. And what kind of ignorance? Well, we're not watching what we're doing and we're not watching the results of what we're doing. We're not being true to ourselves and trying to really be careful in trying to give rise to happiness. You'd think everyone would pay a lot of attention to what real happiness is, what true happiness is, and make that the most important thing in their lives. But most people say, well, somebody else seems happy doing this, somebody else seems happy buying that or owning this, so I want to buy that and own it too, without really looking carefully. At the same time, they don't look at the impact of their actions. And so it's important that we really do look at this as a skill that we're doing here, how we breathe, how we function in the world. It can all be done in a skillful way. If your breath feels comfortable, your mind is going to be in a much better mood. And when your mind is in a better mood, it's easier to do the skillful thing outside, to see what the skillful thing would be and then to act on that knowledge. So this is an important skill that we're trying to develop here, just starting with the breath. Got to know the breath inside your body. That's because there's lots of different kinds of breath energy here. Not just the in and out breath, there's the breath flowing through the bloodstream, there's the breath flowing through your nerves, out to every pore of your skin. There's breath energy flowing up, there's breath energy flowing down. And do you know about it? It's all here. But if you don't take advantage of it, if you don't learn to look into it and sort of separate things out and analyze things and understand them and observe them, then you don't get much use out of them. It's like somebody giving you a a piece of metal. You don't know what's in the metal. There might be gold in there. But if you don't separate out the different types of metal, then you're never going to know if there's gold or not. And so there may be gold there, but you just throw it away because it has no use for you. It's the same with the body. You use it for a while, and then you throw it away. You haven't got the most use out of it. So you want to start with this skill here, looking at the breath, learning how to make the breath a good place for the mind to settle down, learning how to observe your own mind in the process. Because it's your sensitivity and being observant that's going to give rise to the discernment that can lead to release from all your old habits of causing suffering. So that your intention that you really do want to give rise to true happiness is something that you really can realize, something that will become true. Because you're sensitive, because you're watching. You're making this a skill.